Hey guys, Nigerians in shock has Tako Yunasa reviews what Peter Obi told Labour Party lawmakers when they did not refuse taking SUVs worth 116 million naira. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The spokesperson for the Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council, Tako Yunasa, has reviewed what the presidential candidate of the party in the last election, Peter Obi, told members of the Labour Party in the National Assembly after they did not refuse taking SUVs words. 116 million. Yunasa said our principal, Mr. Peter Obi, took that matter up in the meeting ahead with our legislators and they explained to him that those particular vehicles were official vehicles and in that position, he too also echoed to them that he agreed it is official vehicles. But then we all know that what happens to official vehicles when you are in position of office. He added for him, he gave them an example that when he was the governor of Anambra State, he was given an opportunity to buy bulletproof jeeps. And he said he does not need bulletproof jeep. He went to Pijot, okay, automobile industry. In Nigeria, in Kaduna, in particular, to purchase 60 of it, which he gave 18 of it to the judiciary and others he distributed to his commissioners, etc. He further, he stated further, it was the vehicles they used throughout their duration in office that is clear testimony and actionable plan of somebody who wants to serve money for Nigeria. So in any case, I would have twisted that our legislators do, I would have wished that our, legislat our legislators do the same and change the narrative according to the interest of doctrine of the Labour Party. We took their explanations, but we also told them our own position on the issue. The recent statement made by Tako Yunasa, which was shared by The Sun on his various social media platforms, have generated a lot of reactions from many Nigerians. <laughs> that time don't pass with a level of increase of insecurity now. Obi, no go try him again. Okay, what about you? As an ordinary citizen, what have they done to cushion the economic hardship in your favor? And you are not facing the same? Security in, is a, in a greater measure without police escort. When you travel, what a point. We need decisions such as the ones taken by the present government to get us out of this mess. Be a student to check how China, Malaysia, South Korean, Iran, Brazil, India, Turkey, North Korea get out of bad economy. Mind you, the citizens of the above country mentioned don't enjoy the kind of freedom to what is good as long as we can afford it there are so many things you can't do even when you can afford it all we lack in this country is lack of good job and unsecured environment hmm. decision is budget billions for lawmakers to renovate their buildings or provision of bulletproof cars. If you see the cars, 
Muhammad Ubuari writes on in this nation's you okay mentioned okay, I can't really get that these are reactions from Nigerians so Peter Ubi is indeed a unique personality on the African soil it does not matter how anyone wants to pretend the world is in the known of this personality I love Peter B and what he stands for politically. Okay, guys. The issue of bulletproof cars, this and that, and all that. That will not be a problem in Nigeria if the government is really being proactive towards the insecurity. The lawmakers should not be talking about that. And now, you want to buy or you are buying a car worth of one and something million naira you know, so that you will not be attacked by bandits, or even when they attack you, it will not get to you. Do you even reason about other people who does not have a car? Or even, even people that has a car that does not have bulletproof. So you see, they don't care about Nigerians. Don't, you, you, the, the Labour Party members, they have joined them as well. All these issues is when you have a leader who is disciplined from the top all these things will not happen you understand it's going to be very difficult for them to reject it they are lawmakers they still need it to protect themselves these are the things they are fit to do so that is it the problem may eh, if I too much too long before this problem go finish for this country is only God know so guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.